feel excited yet slightly disappointed all at the same time for our next uh, podcast. Excited and slightly disappointed. Yeah. Um, Can you guess why? Because this has half of what you want in something Trader Joe's and seasonal and beverage. This is why he's my brother. Yeah, he, knows, I, oh, I had, he knows exactly. I had another way to approach this that I was going to use. <laughs> you jumped right because usually you do this. You're the one who starts these out. Yeah. Today I was like, I've got a way to start this. And I've ruined it for you. No, I took it okay. away. That's I took okay. it away. But th- so I thought, well, I'm going to go along with that. So what we have today does not have chocolate component. It does not. So but that's it, the, the bad part. Right. Me. Yes. Okay. They've All replaced right. the chocolate with alcohol. So that I'm okay with. Okay. That I'm okay with. And they've also uh, done a little uh, change up and they've got some eggnog, which also I'm pretty excited for. So that's what we've got. We have an eggnog liqueur for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Trader Joe's eggnog liqueur. Uh, this is a, a seasonal product uh, that Trader Joe's puts out. Uh, it comes out. It's, we've had it for a little bit now. So it probably came out end of October beginning of November. Um, it is, uh, it's an eggnog that's made with, uh, real cream, cinnamon, uh, brandy, uh, rum and spices. That's so, got a lot of stuff going on in there. It's got okay. it, yeah. It's got it all in there. So, um, what'd you say? It was like 14, uh, it's 14 and a half percent or 14.75 to be exact. Okay. So almost 15% alcohol. Uh, looks like it runs around eight or $9 depending on where you are in the country. Yeah. Uh, our area is seven ninety nine. Okay. Uh, it has to be, I know it's funny. I think the, the flyer, if you read it says it has to be sold at a store that sold, sells wine, but you actually also have to have the spirits license for this. Cause we were not oh. able to have this at my store last year. But we have it this year because now we have that that spirits uh, license. So it there it may not it may be available at every Trader Joe's in your neighborhood. Was last year the first year of this is kind of creation as far as you know? I or? think it may have been. I think it may have been in existence before that. But I know at least from last year um, because one of my uh, current actually the captain at the store. Uh, he was at the store that that had it last year, and we were discussing sales, and that's why we had a, we brought in a, a big display, we brought in a lot of it when we could. So okay. it's unavailable to actually replenish our supplies, but we've got a decent amount still. Once again, whenever this gets out, I don't know, this might be more of a preview for next year, uh, depending on uh, availability, or uh, you might be lucky enough to be in an area that still has some, so. Now, the only thing I did think of uh, when we were having some of our earlier discussions uh, as we were getting ready to podcast, uh, like I said, if you want to see those earlier behind the scenes discussions, uh, twitch.tv slash about beverages, uh, you can find all of that stuff most Thursday nights around five o'clock Pacific. Um, one of my favorite things at Trader Joe's was they used to have a chocolate eggnog several right. years ago. We even reviewed it. It was one of the most delicious things I've ever had. It was it was so good. It's yeah. like it's like I said, even if you kind of didn't like eggnog, it was just those natural spices in with the chocolate was just a fantastic combination. Yeah. Uh, and it was so over the top, just everything. Anyway, they don't make it anymore. But we were talking about this. And I said, well, if this is any kind of good. You could add this to chocolate ice cream and make a milkshake out of it. And then you right. could have literally could have that chocolate eggnog again. But then you'd add some booze. So right. this could be even better, but I don't know. We're going to have to. never know. Yeah. Or this could take some chocolate syrup. Who knows? Oh yeah. Who knows? That's not but a bad idea too. Yeah. I, yeah. No, we, we, uh, you'll hear us often during the holidays, especially talk about the chocolate eggnog and lack thereof. <laughs> yeah. And lack thereof. Um, well, it looks like eggnog. It does. Yeah. Creamy, milky, little yellow, I just love hint the of yellow. The bottle. It just, for me, it just, it just looks, it has the taste of something that I think is going to be delicious, but yes, yeah, I knows? hope so. I, I mean, I usually buy, I'm one of those people, I usually do buy eggnog every year. Like, I like oh, I eggnog. eggnog. That's, yeah, yeah that's me too. definitely a go-to, like, seasonal treat. And once again, smells like eggnog. It does smell like eggnog. I, to me, I'm getting a little bit more towards the cinnamon component. I, like, it's I almost, that. like, initially when it hit me, I initially thought of Big Red Gum. Like, kind of more of that, uh, like, cinnamon Red Hot's candy. Okay. Big, I, because big of red that gum sweet, I can see, yeah. uh, like that cinnamon red hot candy as opposed to like natural cinnamon or nutmeg or something like that. But it's, I mean, it smells good, Yeah. but, uh, but yeah, that's what hits a little bit more. And then you get the, you know, the usual after, like I said, nuts. a little bit, of, there's a little bit of whatever the alcohol that's in there too, a little yeah. bit, but not much, a little, yeah, a little not overwhelming at all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shall we? Yeah. So we oh. shall. Okay. I do not like that. 
You don't? I don't. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't. Was, we didn't even have a discussion part. I know. I was going we'll to, and then right I was like, that. no, I need to, I need to state that. Capture it. I do not like that. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like it's, <laughs> it's honestly that cinnamon red hot flavor, like really comes through. It's I, quite pervasive. Though. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, and then the alcohol, like I don't almost taste any eggnog in it. Like, I think that's my problem is maybe the balance of it or something. Like I, I do not like that. Oh, that it's, is, um, maybe with some chocolate ice cream, like you could drown it there out you a go. little bit, but it's, but it's very strong. It, um, it definitely assaults the tongue in, in, in a cinnamon fashion. Yeah. Huh. And I don't know if the alcohol just brings out even more of that cinnamon, but it's, that's almost like, I feel like I'm drinking like, yeah. It just goes right on the side of my tongue. It just goes like, Neh. yeah, I just don't, yeah. it's missing out on the complexity of usually you get, even with like, just like a, you know, a shamrock egg knock or something. Like, it's missing out on some of that because of, and I don't know if it's the amount of booze or because it said it was, you said it was rum and brandy rum and, and brandy. Yep. Yeah. So spice, rum, brandy, cinnamon blender. It's, Oh, okay. So it doesn't even mention other things. So it is. That's why cinnamon is so strong in there. It literally just mentioned cinnamon as a spice. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I missed that. I missed that when you described it earlier. But it's um, not that. But like you said, cinnamon, uh, more of a baking, like if it reminded you of an apple pie or if it reminded you if of it did, a cinnamon you, roll or yes. something. But like, I think you're pretty much right on. I, in the, in the nose, I got the big red gum. But in the taste, it is. It's like it's more like Red Hots. Yeah, um, it's like so cinnamon it's candies. Candy, yeah, cinnamon Red Hot candy. And it is just. It just goes. It's like it's not quite as. Although it says a base of pure cream, it's almost like it's not thick enough to coat your tongue before the cinnamon just attacks yeah. it. I mean, I think if it yeah. like laid down a a nice like oily unctuous you know film <laughs> that the cinnamon could yeah. hit your tongue it, so hard. It needs to be heavier. Like it needs to be like more like, uh, you know, like I said, they use pure cream. So like I said, maybe if there, if it was more, which again is very hard to do. And especially at this price, but like if it was more of like, you know, the egg based and that heavy, you need that heavier weight to kind of lift up, especially once you're adding an alcohol, which is going to be thinner. You need that like extra, yeah. like you almost need whipped cream and, and egg and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, yeah. if this is just that yeah, kind of cream. I don't dislike it as much as you do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I keep trying it because I'm like, I'm like, well, maybe I just wasn't ready for it because you know, we had something good. else. The it does. It does good. look good. It looks, it looks <laughs> like this would just be delicious and refreshing. Yeah. And, 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 and not refreshing, but it should be just delicious and tasty and, and satisfy the, that, you know, what you think of when you think of uh, eggnog. But it's. Um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, it's just missing out on like the normal, like I said, that blend of spices. Needs a little there. more it is very yeah, yeah, pointed one note. It's a strong note. Um, the alcohol is like isn't too overwhelming either. Like no. I said, I get a little bit of that at the back. Uh, so like again, I don't know if that's kind of also bringing some of that you know flavor up. But yeah, it needs to be a little little thicker. And then like I said, yeah, they just maybe a couple other spices and then something. But yeah, that that cinnamon also I was just hit. I was like, I do not know. <laughs> this yeah, is, huh? <laughs> no, that's good. That was a spontaneous. <laughs> Normally, it's a spontaneous. Oh my God, this is great. Yeah, this is maybe our first spontaneous. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> I just yeah, I didn't. I wanted to. I was so excited. Like I said, that was why I think it maybe maybe it hurt me even a little more because I was like <laughs> wanted to. I was yeah. like so excited because the thoughts of putting this in a shake or something else. But well, and we it, were going to do this a week ago and we had to put it off, so it was kind of yeah. like it's been the anticipation has been building a little bit and then the, there was no payoff. Yeah. Like I said, again, like, you know, maybe if you put it in something, if it was blended to give those, like you could add things to make what we just said. Yes. Like if you like, so like I said, again, the alcohol in here, I don't think is bad in any way. Like I said, you know, so if you added some things to make that base a little better, like I said, if you did make it into a shake or whatever, so then you'd get some of that body, you'd yeah. thin out, you know, the alcohol wouldn't be quite as strong, but maybe add a little bit of that warmth. Like then it, it like I said, there, there are some, maybe some possibilities there, or but at least even add more eggnog. Yeah, a, yeah, a, a thicker yeah, eggnog. yeah. Buy a thicker um, eggnog, cut this fifty fifty with it, uh, something, yeah, like, something that. like that. It, would that would probably help? But you shouldn't have. That's not the no, no. It's like it's like a pre made drink. You know, it's right. like a, the pre made margaritas and the the vodka mules and stuff like that. They're in a can. They're ready to go. You're not supposed to have to accentuate them, uh, augment them in any way. But yeah, this definitely needs, at least to our tastes, needs a little. Uh, adulteration <laughs> yes i would agree and hopefully what does not need an adulteration uh, is our website about uh that is where you can go to check out uh, all of the uh, videos and podcasts and uh, stories and articles we have worked on for the last 12 years 
over 12 years now, which yeah. is uh, amazing to say. Uh, you can find everything there at aboutbeverages.com, as well as links to uh, not only uh, our audio podcast. If you want to just get that kind of thing, you can have the link to Spotify. Uh, you know, uh, you can go to Google Podcast. All of those things can be found there as well, as well as our merch store. Our merch store is available. I'm wearing one of those shirts right now. Yes. And we even have Glen Karen glassware yeah. uh, just got released a couple weeks ago, depending on when this comes out. Link is down below if you want to check out those glasses. Uh, they came out really, really cool. They ship directly from the manufacturer. Uh, so they will go right to you uh, and pretty much at at the cost. Like I said, there was nothing added on to that. But if you do buy Buy some glasses and you like them uh, and you're happy with them, please uh, go ahead and post a picture on uh, some social media stuff. Yes. We would appreciate that. Let Tag us know us what's in, in that glass. Yeah. And let us know what's drinking. in the glass as well. What are you using uh, those glasses for? We would really appreciate that. That is all we ask. Um, but also, uh, as uh, we were saying before, YouTube is a great place if you just want the latest videos, you want to be notified when new things have come out, uh, like when we release our new podcasts every Thursday, uh, go uh, subscribe there. We would really appreciate that. And speaking of social media, speaking of social media, we yeah. have three pillars of social media that uh, you can find us on. And those are Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Twitter is the one we use the most often. And that's when we will let you know we're going live most Thursday nights at twitch.tv slash about beverages. Um, you can join us uh, at uh, join us on Twitch as we record our podcasts, as we interact with everybody uh, and just talk about things and stuff, not necessarily beverages, but whatever is uh, on everybody's mind. We're happy to. Uh, to have some conversation there. Andrew will let you know when he's going uh, live during the week and what games he's going to be playing and what he's drinking as he plays those games. That's true. Uh, every once in a while we have a poll go up. Everyone, you know, the uh, Twitter is also where you can uh, find out the, the link to the Glen Cairn glasses. There's all kinds of stuff on there, but that's probably the quickest way to, uh, to get up to date with about beverages. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should... Well, you, sh you should, yeah, give it a shot, but you should give it a shot. <laughs>